child, I did what? I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away with childish things. Look at God, and I know this is a men's conference, so I just want somebody to just look at the brother next to him and tell him to man up. Man up. Come on, tell him again. Sister, it's okay if you look at him and tell him, come on, look at him eyeball to eyeball and tell him it's time for you to man up. Now, I'll be utilizing for identity affirmation tonight the topic from G's to gents, from boys to men. From G's to gents, from boys to men. Here in this, these particular scriptures, if you will, the apostle begins to deal with truth from a partial perspective. And the detriment of operating in an undeveloped, listen to this, unmaturated, sloppy agape. He likens it to as one experiencing, watch this, the woes of masculinity and childhood fraternizing foolishness. And he draws the comparison to becoming a man. He talks about how when he was a child, he spoke partial truth. Isn't it amazing that when you think you a man, you think you know everything? But now that he is a man, he is able to speak truth to power. I'm saying something. So here's the test. Listen, when you think that you are a man and you keep doing dumb stuff, and when you keep making stupid mistakes, you just sound like a man and you've not become one. Look at the brother next to you and tell him, I'm a man. Oh, you could do it better than that. Tell him again, say, I'm a man. I'm a man. Psalms 8 and 4, the angelic host begins to ask the question and they say, What is man that thou art mindful of him? the son of man that thou would visit him. So here's the question. What is a man? Oh, look at somebody and ask him, what is a man? Because watch this, and I'm going to say some stuff because you told me it was a men's conference. Oh, God. So in these type of environments, sisters, we're sorry that you're here, but we just got to go on and do the, do the doggone thing anyway. Oh, God. Come on, tell the brother next to you, say, hey, listen, I'm a man. But listen, it takes something to be a man. You've got to understand that, you see, you can't just uh, uh, lay them and slay them and call yourself a man. <laughs> Watch this. Verse number 1, first, uh, uh, first Corinthians, if you will, I'm sorry, verse number 13, uh, chapter 13, verse number 10. Watch this, First Corinthians uh, 13, 10 says this. But when that, listen to this, but when that which is perfect is come, uh-huh. then that which is part shall be what? Done away. So, so watch this. A, a God man, mm, Lord God, listen to what I say, a God man. You've got to understand that. Now what God uh, wants and what God has determined is that we become God men. Tell your neighbor, say, I want to be a God man. I'm talking to brothers. And what God desires to do, he desires to remove partiality and bring us into perfection as men. Are you listening? You see, he has not called you and created you to be half of a man. But holistically, he has called you to be his man. Mm-hmm. Brothers, tell somebody I'm God's man. You're going to say it tonight over and over again until you get it in your spirit. Come on, say it again. I'm God's man. Now, don't be fooled because even she is looking for a God's man. Uh huh. He's looking, she's looking for a choice man. Uh huh. Somebody say choice man. The Bible says that the whole creation awaited for the manifestation of the sons of God. I want to deal with this in verse number 12, which says, For now we see through a glass darkly. But then. 
face versus but being face to face. Okay. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. You see, listen, look, listen, learn. You see, men, we must begin to be accountable to one another. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. We must begin to be accountable uh-huh. with one another. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Because it starts with us. Right. That's right. A lot of times what our problem is, because we're because we're men, we want we want to be macho. Come on, someone, and we don't want to be. I, I'm my own man. Come on, somebody. I put my own pants on. Oh, you ain't saying nothing back to me. Don't want me to tell me what to do. I'm my own. But see, we got to learn to be accountable to one another. Yeah. 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 And listen, and then after that, we got to stop hiding in the dark. Where are you? We got to stop as men. I said, I'm tired. Watch this. The word responsibility means 